There are lots of lovely messages online as well, your comments on the, uh, the comments section of the website, which I can scroll through now. Uh, by the way, whoever picked this photograph of me to start off with is, uh, is a genius. That was a game that we played where we had to say certain words with that weird plastic thing in our mouths. I've never dribbled as much in my life. There was more saliva and, and spit, it was gross. But I've never laughed as much either. Je one of those things that I miss about Blue Peter was the silly stuff that we used to do. And um, I, as you can probably tell, I'm a big fan of the silly. Um, good luck Barney, you were so funny, past tense. Uh, and also my favourite BP presenter, that's from Cerulean Footy Phoenix. Um, okay, were so funny, I think I'll still be funny from, from now on. I'll try anyway. Uh, purple Baking Unicorn says Barney was on Celebrity Masterchef. I was, and I burnt my meringues. Uh, Monkey Loz says, Barney, no! You always make me smile when I turn on the TV. Oh, I always remember you. Well, thank you very much. Uh, Purple Bacon Unicorn, he's leaving and he's my favourite. Strawberry Flute Unicorn Love Stations, I guess that's what that's an acronym for. Um, why, Barney, why? I'll miss you tons. Who's taking over your position? I, I don't know, actually. That's a great question. Maybe they can get a new presenter. Maybe they won't. Who knows? His bad jokes always made me laugh. That's an indirect compliment there, Sarah. I'll take that. They are pretty awful, my jokes, aren't they? Um, Kimber the White Lion. What? No, well, good luck to whatever else comes your way, Barney. Uh, you remember me when I was on Smile, which they say is the best show ever when Nev the Bear was on telly. That was, that was a long, long time ago, but that's, of course, where I started. Uh, Barney, best wishes. Uh, there, there are so many things. Obviously, I don't have time to go through them all while you're watching now, but I absolutely am going to go through all these and make sure that I read them all. Thank you so much for getting in touch. It's, uh, it's so lovely to know that you've got um, some support from, from anybody else who's watching. And, and we work in a studio a lot of the time. And although we work outside on location as well, and we get to meet you a lot of the time, which we love to do, the majority of what we do is in front of a camera. And all we really hope for as presenters is that what we're doing is being either listened to or is inspiring you to do something. And before I joined Blue Peter, I think I would have been the first person to admit that I was a bit of a, I was a, bit of a wimp. I would never do anything if it, if it scared me or if I didn't want to do it. I was very stubborn. I was the kind of person that would just listen to an idea and go, do you know what? Nah, it's not for me now. Rather than doing what I, what I do now. Actually, it's become the person that I am because of being on a show like Blue Peter. You never know what you're capable of. And you're not going to know what you're capable of until you actually try something. The whole point of being scared by something or being nervous about something is to give you that adrenaline, to give you the energy and the, and the, the excitement about something that you're, that's brand new to you, that you've never done before. In my experience now, because of what I've done, and I'm talking about bungee jumping, wing walking, surviving on a desert island on my own, things that I just never would have done, if I, if I can say just one thing to you that stays with you before I go, it is, it's okay to be scared of things. It's okay to be nervous about new things, and it's okay to not know what's going to happen. But I promise you, if you give it 100%, and if you focus on those things, and if you meet them head on, and accept them as new and exciting challenges, you will be surprised what you can achieve. Even if it's only in a couple of years, even if it's the following week. When I was 12 years old, sat on my bed, in my bedroom in Blackpool, if you'd have told me that in 25 years time, I would be who I am now, where I am now, achieving what I've achieved after all those years, I never would have believed you. And I'm so glad that I'm in a position now where I can say to you that if that's who you are, if that's what you think, even if life is tough for you, even if things happen that you're not too sure about or it's frustrating for you, no matter who you are, where you are, you can be anybody you want to be. That's exactly why I've learned while I've been here. Okay, so since I announced that I'm leaving Blue Peter, we have had so many lovely messages coming from you to say uh, goodbye and to say what you like about my time on the show. And um, I've just sat down now with our film team um, who work for, well, the interactive side of Blue Peter who told me that you've uh, sent some videos as well. So I'm going to have a look through all the things that you've sent me and then I'm going to say, well, I don't know yet because I haven't seen what you've said. But um, let's start off with some videos that I'm going to watch and uh, let's see how we get on. Down below the hair, my favourite Barney moments is when Barney flipped off the pancake and straight on his face. I literally picked up the bread and then went, of course, straight on his face. And my third and final one is when he did this funny Ukraine dancing and I thought, of course, it's hilarious. Goodbye, Barney. Oh, that's lovely. Such a sad line to hear. Even Peppa the robot would shed a tear. You ticked all the boxes while fulfilling your journey. All those different hairstyles. I bet you got up early. 
you're such a good singer as we all know off your BP song you put on a show we'll all be sad when you're gone I'll miss your line Still one. Yay! Join in every Thursday at CDBC. Thanks, Barney. Bye! Oh, amazing, Laura, and that was perfect. A little poem as well. Hi, Barney, my name's Olivia. Hi, Barney, my name's Lily. My favourite memory of you is when you said, I want one to Big Ben. My favourite memory of you was when you made unicorn eyes. Thank you. Oh, that's lovely. about you is that you are so kind and very funny. I will miss you very, very much and good luck in the future. Oh, these are lovely. I'll miss all your different hats and hairstyles. And I'll miss all your jokes. Bye bye, Barney. And good luck. Nice balloons. That was a great touch. Our favourite Barney moments were when you did slow motion walking with George. We both loved that. We'll miss you, Barney. Bye. bye. I love a bit of a slow motion walk with George. Oh, thank you very much for getting in touch. They're, they're really, really nice messages. It's, um, it, it's quite hard to say goodbye to something that you've done for so long. But Blue Peter has only been well, six and a half years of my life. I've been at CBBC for nearly 16 years in November. It's been a huge amount of time. And a lot of things that people have said um, to me outside of the videos that I've just watched has been that everyone's feeling quite sad for me. But they're kind of sad on my behalf. Um, there's nothing to be sad about. You know, life is all about doing lots of different things. It's about moving on to the next stage of your life. And at the moment, I've decided that it's time for me to go and try some new stuff. 16 years is a long time to be doing the same thing. And I'm actually very excited about what I do next. Um, so don't be sad for me. I'm sad that I'm not going to be around. Uh, and it's lovely that you, you've sent so many heartfelt messages. And uh, you've also written them down as well, um, so I can read through a few. Um, Rachel says, I'm sorry to hear that Barney's leaving, so I hope this story pretty much covers Barney's glittering career. Oh, wow! So the story is called A Glittering Career. Uh, and Rachel has written a whole story, which I'm guessing is about all sorts of things. I went through some bizarre ordeals throughout Blue Peter, such as one minute his hair was deep brown, then bright yellow, then brown again, then fran <laughs> finally brown and a little grey. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. I've been here for 16 years. I'm starting to go grey. Uh, and same with the beard, basically. That's very true. My beard's only in fine form at the moment, isn't it? I haven't tried growing it before. I just thought I'd give that a go as well. Um, oh, that's lovely. I'm going to read that properly later on as well. And look, finished off with the classic phrase, I want one. It's actually quite amazing for me how many of you have picked up on the certain things that I do. Uh, a very popular one has been me giving away certain prizes every week. Because obviously, I'm never going to give away a house on Spain, a house in Spain on the show, or you know, a unicorn called Colin. But I think they're great ideas. Now, this one I recognise, and can I also say as well, I've spotted Shelley. He's right there. So I do win a house in Spain and a unicorn called Colin. Thank you. So this was uh, designed by loads of members of the fan club, and uh, inside it, you can see uh, various photographs. Uh, of me throughout the years. This is when I first started on the show with Andy and Helen. That's a bit later when Andy left, a bit like I'm doing now, and you can see the various stages. Now this here, this was a superhero thing that we did on CBBC way back when. You can tell because I've got very long and floppy hair before any grey hair started to appear. And uh, it's actually very nice to see things like this. I think it's really important to take photographs. And the reason I say that is because it, one thing that your parents will always say to you, or people that are older than you will always say to you, is that time flies by. Enjoy yourself while you're young. Enjoy yourself while you're young, because before you know it, uh, the time will fly by and it'll, it'll, it'll vanish. I would never be the first person to say that my parents were right, but they were. Time absolutely flies by. So when you have lots of different photographs to go back over, it's actually really nice. It's like looking at your life. And, and when you've done it for me in a book, and when you put certain comments in, it, it's, it's lovely. It's, it's so, so nice. It's also nice to think that things that I've done you've noticed and that you've enjoyed. Uh, a lot of the comments are quite similar. Uh, we're going to miss you so much, I can't put into words, you're so funny. Yes, I am. Uh, and BP won't be the same without you, that's from Dragon Warrior, thank you so much. Um, Barney, you lit up Blue Peter world, you made us laugh with your jokes and you encouraged us to be who we are. Uh, best Blue Peter presenter known to us, that's uh, from Star. P.S. Stay smiling, which is something I always write on my autograph cards, I always put keep smiling. Uh, Midnight says I miss you so much. Um, Good luck with your adventures, we'll miss you, we'll miss you. It, they're, they're all so lovely, thank you so, so much. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart, I, I didn't expect this time to come so quickly. 
I didn't expect to get as old so fast. And I certainly didn't expect to, to have been at CBBC for 16 years. It's been an amazing career. It's been an amazing time. Um, and like I said to you before, don't be sad for me, be happy for me. Because the next thing that I'm going to do will be exciting. As of yet, I don't know what it's going to be. But, um, you know, variety is the spice of life. is something that my dad said to me when I was very young. And I would never admit that my dad was right about anything. But he is right. You've got to try different things. You've got to try as many things as you possibly can. Because before you know it, you'll be at the end of something. So start a new thing and enjoy it just as much. And enjoy every day as if it's going to be the last time you get to do something, because one day it will be. Again, all these things that people say to you over the years that are so, so true. So don't be sad for me. Thank you so much for all of your messages. I'm very excited about what comes next. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon.